Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and it's very nice to meet you. So in today's video, we're doing a no makeup clean day. So um, I'm going to be cleaning my room slash my beauty room. Um, I have a lot of things to go through, just clean up. I have a vanity that I am actually selling. So I need to go ahead and go through uh, the products in there, which is just my backup products. And I need to go ahead and go through that so that I can um, have the vanity ready. So I'm just going to kind of show you how things are going what it looks like and kind of do a little process through my cleaning so um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button down below and the bell button to be notified when i upload so this is what we're going through hi so this is the vanity that i'm selling and then this is my current vanity um so i gotta transfer i have to go through the things i want to keep that in here that are in here because this holds all of my backups like all my backup skincare and makeup products so i gotta go through that figure out what i want transfer it over here and the things i don't want set them to the side and i'll do something with it later so i also have laundry to fold I, this is kind of just what my room's looking like right now i put this some of the stuff that was on top of the vanity over here and then i just have some clothes to fold and i just have some things to go through um i'm just trying to go through and figure out what i want and what i don't want and sell a few things so yeah this is what we're gonna go through this is kind of just a quick overview of the room it is very messy at this point as you can see this is like sewing machine my vanity vanity this cart normally goes over there and then my bed and my closet that's a whole nother story i gotta go through all that stuff up there so yeah and i do keep animals in my room as well this is christmas stuff i always keep that throughout the year because it's a uh it's through for charity um so i always keep that stuff it's for samaritan's purse they send um shoe boxes to children across the world full of like toys and clothes and then we have a little bun bun right there and then i have a lizard in there and then this is where my dog sleeps honey and then this is my uh bicycle that i used to recover so my room is overloaded with stuff uh, but right now i want to tackle the beauty stuff so we're kind of just going to go through and see what i really want and what i don't want okay hopefully this is a good angle so i'll start with this drawer that's open right here so i know i just did a declutter and i really well i didn't minimize a whole lot but i did minimize some stuff but now I'm going to be adding to it because these are products I really just need to use. I don't really need to have backups. I just need to decide whether I'm going to use it or I'm not going to use it. The reason why I was holding on to some things is because I was sure, unsure of whether or not I was going to, you know, do other people's makeup, give it to them, or try to sell it, or what I was really going to do with it. But at the moment, I just need to figure out what I want and what I don't want. So, I'll go through this first, which is more of my... Um, bronzers and blushes and highlights more of the bigger face palettes so we'll go through that of course there are some older things but they haven't been used so technically they're still good that's what I believe is if you haven't touched it it hasn't expired yet unless it's like um skincare or a cream product I feel like if it's powders then it's when you start using it that it starts the expiration product process which and my belief is that it takes forever for powders to expire anyways so i'm just going to quickly go through and see what i want and what i don't want i'm just going to lay everything up here and we'll go through and see everything okay so i pretty much laid out everything um so if i don't keep some of these products i may end up putting it i'm gonna get a basket but I may end up saving it for later um, because, I don't know, maybe I'll be like a freelance makeup artist or I'll have someone to give it to. Um, so, but until then, I'm just going to put it in this tote and I won't have it in my keep, like what I'm going to be using. So, first up is the Surfing Botanicals. Um, it looks like highlighters or like bronze toppers and then but these all have shimmers um i don't know i have quite a few <coughs> sorry blush and highlights are ready so i think maybe i won't keep this one 
the profusion i already kind of have these colors and other things like especially like a gold i have like a fenty in here and then a pink i have and i have these colors so i'm not going to keep this either uh this is a laura geller little cream product trio i'm not going to keep this just because i already have some and i don't really need one of these at the moment so i'm gonna put those down here now these two Too faced i am keeping um this uh this is like the sugar peach wet and dry and then this is the um Too faced contour i think it's cocoa contour so i'm going to be keeping both of these and then i have the complex culture uh baked um bronzer and highlight quad um this is gorgeous so let's see do i really want to keep this mm. i feel like this would be like a good makeup kit like to be a makeup artist which i do kind of feel like i want to do so i think i'll save this for that and then this huda or not huda huda beauty uh, 3d palette these are not my colors um those are just too deep so i'm just not going to keep this one and plus, I haven't really understood the concept of it, especially the cream over there. I don't, I don't get it, but yeah. So, so far, I'm just keeping these two. And then, uh, there was these two little products, this little Luxie sponge. Um, I think I'm going to keep this because it's kind of cute. Now, this little Fenty portable contour and concealer brush, I don't think I really need it. Like, mm, I don't know. If I do keep it, I'll put it in my travel. So, but I guess for now, I'll just set these to the side. You know, keep them because I don't think it's really a big deal. Here, this is the, I think you say Douse from my highlighter. I don't really need a tiny highlighter, so I will not keep that. This little Lottie London, London Tan Time Bronzer. Um, like it's still sold on everything. I think I will keep it just so I can have my, um, like drugstore type bronzers. I think I'll keep that. And then the Steve Laurent. I think this is a loose highlighter. It is a loose highlighter. Um, it's gorgeous. It's tiny. So I don't think keeping it is a big deal. So I think I will keep it. And then these two are uh, backups of the Drop of a Hat and Too Cool for School. I absolutely love those, so I'm definitely keeping these. And then the Studio Makeup Luminous uh, Loose Blush. I actually haven't tried any loose products besides setting powder, so I don't know. I feel like maybe I want to give this a try, but I already have so much stuff. I think I will just um, not keep this. And then I have the Fenty. Uh, this is the Trophy Wife Highlighter which is gold honestly it's beautiful and i do have some other fenty but i don't know if i want to keep this because that is gold like that is gold but i could use it for my eyes um which i do have other gold eyeshadow too um it's gorgeous though i think i think i'll keep it for now um even if i don't use this stuff right off the bat in my collection i'm still gonna keep it and just but keep it in my my uh, vanity over there and then there's this artist couture diamond glow powder uh, not going to keep that i have the stack the odds by ellie pop and sassy pants which i think is the shade lighter than the one i have right now but i'm going to keep because i really do like this trio uh the siate london dewy highlight glossy cheek glow i've heard that this is not like the hottest thing ever so I think I'm gonna not keep that for myself. And then the Cover Effects Glitter Drops and the Wonder On The Glow Blush and Illuminator. I am going to keep this, and this is in the shade Bare. Uh, the Cover Effects, that is beautiful. Um, I think I'll just keep it for now. I don't know. I feel like this would be a good kind of makeup kit type item. I don't know, I don't know if I'd actually really wear this on myself. So I think I will set this the sign i'm not going to keep it for myself okay yeah even though this is kind of a declutter it's not like full on i'm not ever going to get these products type of declutter um like all the items they put in this i may end up using eventually but it's just not going to be in my vanity right now it's kind of just going to be 
I'm going to go through it at some point. And it's just not going to be something I use right now. But eventually I may use it. I'm not sure. So it's not full on declutter. I'm never going to use it. It's just not going to be in my vanity type thing. Okay, so this is like primers. And there is one foundation. This is a Stila foundation. It is too dark for me. But I will keep it for maybe later on. But I'm just not going to keep it right vanity now this color is i love this type of foundation like i used up the one i think mine was sand beige this is too light for me at least it looks like it but i am going to keep it just because i can blend it out um and add another color to it if i need to so this is going on my vanity sorry i have the hiccups and then there's the tahitian breakfast dewy collagen face primer um by the dew of the gods i think I will set this aside. I think all these I'm just going to set to the side because I already have primers. The CoverGirl uh, True Blend Face Business, the Pure Four One Correcting Primer, and the Dr. Brandt Backlight Primer. I'm going to just set these to the side because I have enough primers open that I really don't need to open more. Okay, this is all my other small eye things. Um, there's like some small eyeshadow stuff and then like some mascaras. So we'll start over here. I have this liquid eyeshadow by Lucky Chick. This is in Rose Quartz. I don't use that much liquid eyeshadow, but I do have some. I just don't want to open this in it. Like, I think I might have swatched this. I'm not sure. But I have a color that's very similar to this. I think at the moment I am not going to use this. So I will not keep this in my vanity. I have this um, also little duo and this looks very similar to the what's it called um stilla duo that i have and this is so to never use i am going to but this is by the beauty crop i'm just going to set this to the side as another liquid eyeshadow and then i have this little shadow by kvd um it does look very pretty i'm just i don't use liquid i mean not liquid I don't use single shadows that much. Like, this is what it looks like. Um, I just really don't use single shadows. And so, I'm just going to set this one to the side. I'm not going to keep it on my vanity. I have this Nude Sticks pencil. I don't use pencils, so I'm going to not keep that. Uh, the Star Wars ColourPop. This one is Astromic. This is the... Uh, jelly shadow this one is in silver very pretty um that looks more blue but it's actually like silver but the shadow that actually comes in that palette is just as silver and pigmented as this i don't really need one of these right now um i'm not going to use it anytime soon so i'm just going to save this and set it to the side this yc collection i actually use this but like once and I, like it was okay it came in like an ipsy um but it's not like the biggest deal ever. I think I want to give this to somebody. And I have this little dose of colors. It's also a silver. This is in Slinky. I am not going to keep that with me. When I say keep it with me, of course, you probably understand. It just means I'm not going to keep it with me. It's not going to be in my everyday. I have this little Lorac shimmering palette. I actually want to do a video on this. My goodness, this thing is so tiny. I've never seen a palette like this tiny with so much color to it. I do want to keep this. Um, that is just gorgeous, so I'm keeping that. Okay, and then I have three Too Faced BTS um, mascaras. I do not, I, I have so many mascaras opened already. Um, I'll keep this one that's from the Too Femme collection uh, to the side. I will keep that, but then I'll put these two with the stuff the bit I'm not using um I have this lawless mascara that I will keep with me at the moment so I do want to try that I have this TYNT phantom liner let me see I don't I know I know if I open it it'll probably be exposed I just don't know what the liner looks like and I don't use that many liners so I will put it in the bin I have this Jilly's uh jellies or Jilly's beauty double-sided stamp liner I'll put that in the bin. This item beauty, uh, this is really good for your lower lashes, but 
it just it went bad really really quickly and even though i really want to keep it like and start using it again it just went bad too quick and i have too many mascaras i need to use at the moment uh, i'll just bend it right now i have this little uh i think this is a clear brow gel yeah it's transparent the clear brow, brow gel i will um keep that with me this little makeup revolution eye primer i will bend that and then there's like this little liquid shadow too yeah it's by galactic it's really pretty and bronzy but i actually opened up a stila one that looks very similar even though it's lighter so i am going to bend that one as well now we have some lip products um here's just a chapstick by blistix i have not used this i'm just going to um keep that um this little i think this is a lip gloss oops sorry i think this is a lip gloss um i'm just gonna bend that um just random this lip oil i have used i'm going to uh start using that again chapstick i don't really need this at the moment i'm gonna bend that uh this is one of the miniature high shine sparkling lip glosses um i actually have a bigger one of this not the same shade but i'm just not using this at the moment um, I already have plenty of lip glosses that I need to use, so I will bend this. I actually saw this lipstick the other day, and I really love the color of it. It's a very gorgeous brown color, but I have a lot of colors like this. By This is the color, I mean, this is the brand uh, Beauty for Creation, uh, or Certain, oh, sorry, <laughs> Beauty for Certain. I am going to bend this. And then I have this lipstick, which is in the color Surrender. It is a dark a uh, very dark like plum color it is just not my color so i am going to bend that there's this lamasque uh lipstick and this looks gorgeous it's like this like i don't know like hibiscus type like this hibiscus pink that's kind of reminds me of it's like a hibiscus flower I am going to keep this and then this little Kinder Beauty lip mask, just a little lip mask. I am going to keep that. Now we're to my extra palettes. Um, I do have quite a palette I'm already opened and using, but there may be a few I want to add. Um, I'll just do a quick show of each palette because I know y'all probably want to see what they look like. So this is the crown pro palette this is what it looks like um i'm not super into like i don't know like i don't know just the way this looks uh, i do really love this shade but i have that shade that looks just like that in uh, one of my anastasia palettes and then i have like a shade that looks like that and these browns are pretty common in my palette so i will put this action palette um this is a gorgeous palette this is what it looks like. I love those purples. It's like you can do two sides. Like you can do like a purple look and like an orangey red look. I really love the way this looks. So I will keep this. And then I have this H Ace, ugh, Ace Butate Falling For You palette. This is also gorgeous. I just don't know if I'm like super into this um, look. I mean, I love all the colors like they're all gorgeous but i have so many palettes that have very similar colors and like this ace beauty palette had a color very similar to this and i just have these types of colors um and other palettes but i love the shimmer and the shimmer absolutely beautiful but i think these would be great for me to use um on other people as like a makeup artist kit this has very gorgeous colors um i think ace Beauty really likes to do pinks and oranges i mean they have other palettes too but i think i really like them um this color the hibiscus color is gorgeous uh the pink moon palette i mean color is gorgeous all of this color story is just beautiful but i have a lot of pinks <laughs> i really don't need every palette that has pink in it so I will bend this, but once again, like I said, it doesn't mean I won't ever get these palettes because I could just one day want to use this palette, come get it and add it to my collection. 
if I haven't already done something else with it. Um, so I could do that, but at this point it's just not being immediately added to my collection. I have really contemplated being a makeup artist. Like, I don't know if I want to go to school for it, but kind of just be like a freelance makeup artist. So, because I just love doing makeup and I have always been so excited to do other people's makeup. So I think that is possibly something I want to do or pass it on to other people or just things like that. I mean, I don't really want to declutter this stuff and donate it because I've already did a declutter. I don't want to donate this stuff um, until I really know what I want to do with it. But for, so, for, so I'm not really getting rid of this it's kind of a disclaimer it's not decluttering never using it's just not using at the moment this palette is very pretty it's it looks like it's very light toned um colors these shimmers are very beautiful they're just not what i get into at the moment yet as well but i don't do all matte looks on myself and i wouldn't just randomly reach for these yellow Kind of mustardy color so not really what i use so i will bend this one it's celestial thunder by dominique cosmetics um of course very gorgeous colors this just is not my color story um and i have a color very similar to this in another palette and this shimmer is gorgeous i love shimmers um it's just it's just not my color story so i will bend this one and then i have this Bizart palette it is all mattes as well. Not really what I go for. It looks like there is some... It looks like it has kind of like a satin finish to it. It's not glittery. There's no shimmer. But it kind of has like that satin look to it. Um, so I will bend this one. It's just not my cup of tea. But I feel like that would be great on other people. Louise palette The Queen. It is gorgeous as well. It kind of looks like an Ace Beauté palette. Um, it is gorgeous. I just am not, like, I already have a color palette, as you'll, we'll see at some point. I am going through and using, um, the same makeup for a week, and I already have a palette, the Anastasia. Um, it's the Norvina palette. I think it's the number one, volume one. It's, has very similar shades, and I really am just trying to use that up, so I don't really need to add another semi-colorful palette, so... I am not going to keep this one, even though it is very beautiful. There was this Blush Crush Palette by ColourPop. Um, stunning. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about this palette. Absolutely love it. Um, especially this Blossom Up. It's like a gold and pink tone uh, shimmer. This is more of your icy hot, like very light pink shimmer. These are kind of, they're not shimmery, but they have some glitter in it. All of this is just amazing, so definitely want to keep that for myself. Palette by Oprah. I have yet to use this, um, even though that is, oh my god, I want it to use it so bad. So, I am going to add this to my collection, so I'm super stoked to use that. And then, the last palette I have in my backups is the Sahara Nights by, uh, by Eloise. Now this is an all shimmer palette. Oh my goodness, so stunning. Um, I love Ibiza. If y'all can tell, I love these kind of gold and pink tone palettes. I love everything about this palette, um, but I have so many shimmers and like all my palettes. I don't keep a palette once I have shimmer. So I will keep this for uh, like my, my makeup kit that I eventually wanna have, which is probably what all of these items are gonna before unless a friend of mine wants something um so so far this is all the stuff i am not keeping in my vanity it's not going to be in a vanity it's just mostly just extra stuff that i can build a kit with get to someone donate whatever um so that is this uh and here i just have hair products so that's nothing to go through that's just my own stuff it's actually just hair bows and bobby pens it's not like products products and then i do have like this little bit of skincare which i believe i'm keeping all of it but i'll show you it's the volition turmeric brightening polish the pharmacy whipped greens cleanser a derma dermalect uh out crease retinol serum the hangover good to go moisturizer 
two uh, little uh, eye creams, a miniature LMS collagen cleansing balm, and a little sample of the Sunday, uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I'm going to keep all this because this is my skincare. I have a few open skincare products, um, but this is like my backups and it's not a whole lot. So I do want to keep that. So this is the um, stuff that I am just not going to keep, of course. Uh, it's a pretty good size bin. And then uh, this is the stuff, the skincare, I'm keeping all of it. And then let me add these over here. And this is the stuff I'm immediately putting and I will start using at some point. Um, I'm not necessarily going to start using this stuff right off the bat because I do have Pam Project stuff through here that I'm trying to use up more. So that's the only thing about makeup is you love it all, but can you really use it all? That's the question. Um, so this is the stuff I'm adding to my collection. This is the stuff that I am not putting in my collection at the moment. And then this is my like body care products. I have uh, fragrances that I am using and then I have fragrance and uh, body care that I'm not using but I am keeping it all it's just like some bath and body work stuff some lotion and some scrubs and then that's my hair care that's my nail care and then that's like a declutter box so I am keeping everything so nothing is going just yet but I just now oops sorry about the light now I just need to organize all this stuff because i gotta figure out where to put that's just boxes but i gotta figure out where to put this stuff because now i'm not gonna have any more to set it so i'm kind of just going to organize everything over here first and then we will go from there i forgot to mention but i do have one more palette the ciate ciate london uh spice palette i haven't used it either but i stuck it in here because i actually want to compare the two it's very similar to the natasha denona there's less colors in the natasha but the colors seem very similar but i do want to keep this one so i'm keeping that so this isn't the way it's gonna stay because i still have to add this stuff um back in here possibly at some point um, so eventually it'll change, but right now, um, I am keeping, I think throughout the whole year, I want to keep my Pam Project stuff right there, just so that I can have it separated and know to use it more, like it's a reminder, but I went ahead and put these in here, and like, the backups are back there of some of these smaller products, and then I just put these two right here, and then I went ahead and added added the Fenty so that's there and then just put the bronzer in there and then I put the four palettes that I am putting in here put them right there so yes that is kind of what it's looking like I added the foundation in there and the brown there I think eventually I'm going to kind of reorganize I can't tell you how many times I have reorganized my vanity but I do want to reorganize it and possibly move it because I got new lights to um, and like a new tripod to kind of situate everything. So I think I want to move where this is at and then reorganize the stuff on it. So that is the little bit of progress we have made so far. Now the vanity is empty. Now I just need to clean it off, get this stuff put away and uh, I guess situate where the stuff is going that's on my bed and just put this stuff where it goes. Okay, I have organized my vanity back to normal. <laughs> That's just a pile of candy I got for Christmas and other times. So I've kind of just put everything in place. Like I said, it's just going to be there for the moment. So um, I'm, it's not super organized. Like things aren't back where they really need to go. Just because I'm not going to really do a deep cleanup whenever I'm not quite to that point just yet. But I did find two more items I haven't used on my... A vanity that I was thinking about uh, using at some point which I did try this once I actually really love it it is the let's see can you see it the wonder beauty uh, glow ahead illuminating face oil um, I have oily skin and I actually didn't find this to be very oily and I do like it so I'm gonna keep it but the Ciante London dewy stick is just not it like the way I put it on like the way I f it felt on my skin when I put it on 
It literally just felt like I was putting grease all over my face. I was not a big fan of it, so I am not keeping this. I'll just put this um, in my like declutter or if I know someone who's going to use it because it has been used. But I do not like this, so not keeping that. Okay, here we are. It's all clean now. So all the clothes that were here on the floor are cleaned up and put away. My bed is made. Everything's organized and clean over here. This is empty. I just have to figure out where to put the... Sorry, hopefully you can hear me. Put the extra um, beauty stuff away. My car was put back. And this is all settled for now. Oh, by the way, ignore the carpet. Uh, we've had it in here for a very long time. It was originally white. And um, <laughs> let me just say, it's been here for 15 years. It's way overdue. We're actually on the process of replacing it. So completely ignore the floor. So yes, everything is clean and or so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And um, thanks for cleaning with me. And hopefully you'll clean too. Have a good day. Bye.